Hey guys, I hope you're good today and we will have a new tutorial together. Today we will focus on how to match a 3D text with a C4D scene. So mostly, most of the lyrics videos are made with Element 3D, Element by Video Copilot and today I will show you tips I use to match uh, text uh, with um, Cineware plugin. Uh, so uh, we will uh, try to match this text with a scene created uh, in uh, C4D. So uh, right now I will open my big <laughs> uh, scene and show you that uh, the text is uh, perfectly matching with the 3D view. So if you're interested on um, how to import uh, lights, uh, camera, uh, and other stuff. I invite you maybe by watch uh, other tutorials on uh, our channel. Um, there is a lot of content. And here you can have the language if uh, it's in French or if it's in English. Most of the content is in French, but you have some English tutorials maybe to learn uh, how to model some cyborgs like uh, this one or like other ones like this one so i hope you will enjoy our channel if you are new to this one so we are french so uh, you need to to understand that uh, our accent is uh, very sexy and uh, you need to don't be uh, jealous so uh, i right now uh, i have my scene and uh, I made some stuff, so I, I will do a very short breakdown on how I've made it. So maybe if you love to do uh, lyrics videos for bands or other uh, people, you will have ideas on maybe how to to achieve this kind of, of cool looking. Uh, so what I've done is... Um, I extract some multi paces uh, by rendering in uh, C4D with Octane Render. I made different paces to composite. So right now, if we watch, I have my um, background with uh, alpha paces. I have uh, another object mask to just have my cyborg. Uh, and I need to, to tell that this is not the final render of the project, that's just a work in progress. I have right now uh, an ambient occlusion and my emitters. So you, as you see, I just can uh, control everything very, very smoothly. And I have a Z-depth pass with uh, some blur on the background and I have I did some dust in 3D space because I have my camera, uh, which is the same camera here and in my project here. So I've done this just by import my C4D file into my After Effects, then just put it here. And uh, with Cineware, you have an extract uh, button here. When you click extract, you will have all your, all your lights, uh, null objects, and cameras. So that's the tricks we will use to uh, to make the text match our scene. Because right now I will show you if I just delete this uh, text and create a new text like tutorial and made it in uh, 3D space, I will have some weird stuff coming because I have a C4D scene file with uh, his own uh, coordinate, um, you know, big and huge scene and the camera is just uh, doing uh, this kind of movement and that's not uh, the same uh, place of uh, the coordinates are very different from the base coordinates of After Effects. So if you're a noob, you will try to, to, 
to make it match uh, by high and you will have weird stuff coming like uh, the text flying uh, and don't match at all the perspective and that's a uh, big shit so what you need is to have uh, coordinate uh, references to tell maybe that's your text I want you a tutorial to be at the same place of my cyborg and that's uh, what we are going to do right now uh, so if you have after effects cc to uh, i don't know the english word so if you have the latest version you just can import and export text file which is very nice but i don't like the latest version because there is a lot of bugs like every uh, after effects release so i will just show you a technique which works with every after effects cc from base cc to the latest one and uh, you will uh, you can import other things uh, than text layers maybe uh, action es essential or other so the, the tips i will show you right now is very useful so uh, what i've done is just um, created a new light for example uh, simple light and just put it in your robot or everywhere you want made some PSR so you can have uh, PSR if you don't have it here you can find it uh, by hitting shift C and uh, typing here and when I have it I have my light inside my cyborg so I will just uh, use the parenting uh, system in After Effects and the shift key to tell my text just to go uh, where the light is so I can just go here into my project uh, if uh, it stop uh, to bug bugging I will just put this and click extract so I will have octane light octane camera and light so I already have that so just click delete for me uh, my first light was used to have a nice optic of optical flare which is uh, matching with the perspective uh, my camera is my camera and this light is uh, inside the, the cyborg so I just disabled it and I will do another thing to have my tutorial uh, just uh, don't be affected by other light I will just hit uh, the arrow here and go into surface option and click disable light so I will just have um, a white text so right now this don't match at all so I will go here in the parenting system I hold shift and just go to my light and my text is right now just uh, into my light so right now we we'll just disable uh, the parenting stuff hit s for scale because uh, our text is very big because it's as at the, the center of our camera maybe uh, use uh, point three and right now i have my tutorial matching perfectly with um, the, the light position so i just can uh, make it uh, here just reduce a bit wow uh, done some animation with uh, I just need to, to move it uh, there because it too, it's too small for the moment and right now is uh, just uh, matching uh, it's just a bit uh, on the left because if you watch closely my light is right here but uh, I can uh, just move it like uh, adjust it uh, like that or like that that's uh, now very easy to uh, do some uh, modification and right now I can use 
any effects on this text, any kind of animation and try to stylize it uh, to match the my video and do uh, very very cool stuff so i hope you learned very cool stuff today i invite you to follow us on our channel on instagram or is that instagram is uh, mhs prod i say it in french because uh, i'm tired of uh, speaking english you have there uh, renders that we can make for personal or uh, professional uh, work like this mi micro animation uh, you have some uh, renders that you can uh, learn in tutorials like uh, this one is from one of our tutorial and this one too uh, as you see huh? And you can join our page Motion Designers, which is a, a big, big, big page where uh, I post renders that I like uh, with the people using the hashtag MD community. And uh, there is a lot of cool stuff. There is a lot of talented artists. And that's a way to watch new things, less popular, but uh, as good as uh, the big stuff. So I'm glad you watched this video. I hope you learned something and see you next time, guys.